Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I would like to to start by a simple mechanism for doing assembly and animation. And just to build our capability or to get you an introduction about assembly and animation. Though the, the reason I choose a four bar link mechanism is because uh, any mechanism in the world either a simple mechanism or a complicated mechanism is built by a combination of four, four bar link mechanism uh, or a slider link mechanism you put them together and you, the more you add the more you are complicating the things but mainly everything goes back to the four bar link mechanism and the slider link mechanism so without a further ado so let's move to uh, a new uh, uh screen oh i okay. have this assembly actually let me get a new one so i'm gonna go to file uh, new new i'm gonna choose an iso and assembly file see now now we are choosing assembly format before we used to work on part for 3d model modeling and the draft sheet for machining and now we're gonna do the assembly format so I'm going to go say OK. So this will bring me to the screen where I'm going to do the assembly. I already drawn the uh, the part, the, the, the linkage, the linkage, and uh, it should be a simple one, so not a big deal. So we're just going to start by um, looking at the front view. Let me go to the front view. Look, it doesn't matter. So we're going to get the base with the pin. I'm going to drop it here. Say here okay so i'm going to reduce it a little bit <coughs> and see here somewhere here and then drop another one what how you drop it you just you click on it you click and you drag it and then i'm going to put it somewhere here this would be good enough okay now it came like the uh, escape to now i need to align these for, for the purpose of assembly so how are you going to do that so if you look carefully that what i'm going to do is you see here uh, planar alignment see there are many choices here i want you to start playing understanding what are these commands here so this is for flash fit this is for mate and this is for and the, the animation tell you what each one is so we'll concentrate today about planar alignment and axial alignment okay and so on there are many other alignment okay so we're gonna go to with planner alignment so i'm gonna choose this plane okay let me go to planner alignment okay select that so i'm gonna select in the planner alignment. i'm gonna say okay make this plane and this plane in the same direction so now it is aligned perfectly on the same way but now one of the of them is up uh, higher than the other so what i'm going to do the next one is i'm going to plan our alignment again for this plane here to be with the same display so now both of them they became now both of them they became exactly on the same uh, uh, level okay now we're going to start putting the other stuff okay so now i'm going to move this okay <coughs> so i'm going to get the driver drop the driver here okay and then okay then i say the first thing is going to say okay, i need to align do you see this axial alignment okay let me get out so you can see it higher. so axial alignment i'm going to click on axial alignment so this means that i can get this axis and this axis for this one here to be the same and at the same time if you look here they are, are, are they are aligned but what happened is they are but they are not in the right place so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get get planar alignment so planar alignment again you see the planar alignment okay so i'm going to choose this plane should be in the same plane of this plane so this way now it is it is the, the same place so now okay it came out like this i don't like the location so what i'm going to do just when you click on this one you will see that it <coughs> came this menu this menu if you click here it allow you to uh, to rotate 
the the link so I can put it in a, in a location I like. Okay, so let's leave it right now here. Escape. <coughs> now let's get a pin. I'm gonna drop this pin here, and we're gonna start doing the same thing. So I'm gonna put what I'm gonna put the the pin. Okay, sorry. So I was gonna right click to get out. So now uh, the axial alignment. So this one with this one. Now they are axial alignment. The second thing is what we make what we'll make the planar alignment. So this plane should be aligned with this plane. So this way I have it the other side. Okay. <coughs> Now let's get the, the, the coupler. So I'm going to drop the coupler here. And again, we're going to do what? Right click, get out. So I'm going to get axial alignment. So this axis will be with the pin here. Okay. And what else? And I need the planar alignment. So this plane will be with this plane here so now we right click to get out so now this plane aligned very well now what's left now is will be that to get the the driven so I'm gonna drop the driven okay before I drop the driven let me probe drop the pin and we're gonna do the same thing so now this axis right click okay axial alignment so this axis will be with this axis and then the next thing is will be what <coughs> the the planar alignment which will be this plane will be with this plane that's good right click so everything is good now let's get the the other play the other mechanism that driven i'm gonna drop it drag it and drop it here and then what we're gonna do we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna say okay. Right click to get out. So it's gonna be axial alignment. It's gonna be this axis with this axis. And also what? And the plane. This plane will be with this plane. Very good. Now right click to get out now i need to get this one the same th the same way so what i'm going to say i'm going to say also the the axial alignment of oh, this one will be with the axial alignment of this one and automatically because it is aligned <laughs> perfect so it's gonna it's gonna fit nicely and neatly okay so now we co we connected both of them we connected all the linkage you know now we're going to see how we can apply the animation okay now for the animation actually is i need to have this is a driver which means that which link which will have the motor attach it to it so i'm going to say okay i need to attach this motor you see the motor here rotational motor you have a rotational motor and you have a linear motor so I'm going to say I'm going to choose the rotational motor and this rotational motor will be on this link and then I'm going to come here to the center here to see the rotation you see the rotation yeah I'm going to click so this means that the motor is attached to this link and it's going to rotate around here and say finish so this way I created the animation the, 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 the motion that will start moving around now then i say okay simulate motor so i'm going to click on the simulate motor when you click on simulate motor this menu will come uh, you can <coughs> we, we just for us we need to, to just do you can change the, the the duration and the second and so on but this is what we have we have just a rotation we'll keep the details for some other applications so we say okay automatically this will give you the default uh, frames and so on so now if you say play you see play here so there is a menu here will come like an animation menu here so when you click on the play 
you will see that the link start moving because the motor is attached here so and the rotating around here and if you <coughs> and the, the way we choose it to choose it like uh, counter clockwise or, 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 or clockwise you can change the, the, the rotation and the dimension on that okay now if you want to increase this one I can click here and say copy and I can come at the end here and the, so now I can increase the amount or I can make it flip around means that uh, uh, it's it switch the rotation and instead of making in the same direction make it in the opposite direction and so on okay so let's see how we're gonna work again so I'm gonna play see now this way is gonna go the same way because we just co copy and paste and that's it but if you want to make it on the opposite direction we'll show you how to do it in the opposite direction and yeah as you can see here so now let me do this now I will show you that how you can uh, switch the direction as you can see now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna click on this one I'm gonna delete this one where is the oh okay or delete where is delete delete duration okay now let's go here so now what I'm gonna do now okay sorry I'm gonna highlight this one again and we say copy and then come here at the end here and say what or you can say come here and say mirror yeah okay when it mirror it's gonna mirror the opposite way so let's see how it's gonna work see now okay see now it will switch the direction okay to the opposite direction and so on okay you can still play with this video and so on uh, the way it, it rotate and so on now okay so this will end the video for today and as i mentioned at the uh, at the beginning of the video this is just an introduction to assembly and animation and we concentrate on a very simple things so this way this video is special uh, was especially prepared for those who are just new to the uh, solid edge especially in, especially in the area of assembly and uh, animation but in the future we'll we'll develop more like more uh, uh, good uh, examples or good practical examples that will increase in difficulties and so on i hope you you like the video i uh, and uh, uh, i would like to get your feedback and i would like to thank you for watching and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel uh, click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day and see you soon on the next video bye bye